Right, hi guys, welcome to Fork and Allotment. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be planting some tomatoes. So I've got some Money Maker from Mr. Fothergills. I have some Gardener's Delight again from Mr. Fothergills. We have some Alicante from Grow Seed. And we have these are um, Mini Bell. They're from a packet from the uh, from Home Bargains. So what I'm do, going to do is, I'm going to take the mini bell, I'm going to do one row of them at the moment on this side. So I'll take the mini bell, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant, I'm going to put two seeds into each module, like so. And then just cover them gently with a bit of com bit of the compost. So I will continue with that. Two of these into each of these modules. Oops, way too many there. Into each module. There we go. That's the, uh, so there are the mini bell ones. Then I'm going to do the Alicante. So what I'll do is again, I'll take two of the seeds. See the seeds aren't that big. Into each module. So that gives us a bit more leeway if we get more than one. If we get one that doesn't actually uh, want to germinate, we've got um, hopefully another one in that module that will germinate. We do two rows of this one. There we go, two more and two in that. And you have to remember with tomatoes is that they are going to need a bit of heat. So what we're doing is we're keeping these at home on the windowsill for a little while until they start to germinate. Um, and then hopefully After that, we'll um, have some decent uh, tomatoes again this year. And there we go. So hopefully these, usually, tomatoes usually don't take very long to um, actually germinate. So what I'm going to do is these are Gardener's Delight, these ones. And these ones, it says they uh, get masses of sweet and tangy large cherry tomatoes. From these. And for a greenhouse crop, it says to sow them indoors in a warm kitchen windowsill. Um, that's all you need for starting them off. Um, sow them. 0.5 centimeters deep thinly into a pot of compost obviously I'm using a module tray um, then when, once usually once the threat of uh, frost has passed I mean we could pop these on again into um, larger pots if needs be if they get too big before we can actually put them into the greenhouse but um, if not, then we'll be all right. There's three in that one. So that's the gardener's delight. Oh, I've got to do two rows of that, haven't I? So I'll do another row there. There we go. There's something quite therapeutic about sowing seeds as well. Uh, it's very easy to... Um, 
it's really easy to do and it's quite a bit of a chill out session when I'm sowing seeds. I've only got a few of these left so I'm just going to put extra ones into these modules here. I think that's all of them. There might be a few more in here. There we go. There we go, and then the last one we've got again is the Money Maker, which is the uh, these from Mr. Fothergills. So tomatoes can be most tomatoes can be sown from January to April. Um, usually, sometimes depending on the variety, some varieties can sow later. These ones are an old favourite um, of medium-sized fruits. Um, up until October, you can fruit, these can fruit up until October, so you, so you get your first frost in the sort of winter, autumn, winter time. You can get seeds from these, uh, sorry, fruits from these. Uh, they are indeterminate, so they will need support. Um, most of these are indeterminate, so I believe. Um, which means that they're basically a vine variety that will grow and grow and grow. So they'll need pinching out and uh, they'll need support on support to help them to grow or to help them not to fall over. And they're an excellent source of vitamin C and antioxidants as well, tomatoes. Um, especially these money maker apparently and again this says start them on a windowsill which is what I'm going to be doing um, I'm going to keep them warm the temperature about 15 to 20 degrees um, is ideal I may what I may do is place them on top of the fish tank uh, where the turtle is because that'll be a warmer area for them um, and there, that's it. So that is me planting my tomatoes. Uh, so all I've got to do now is just make sure I cover these seeds over. And just sprinkle it over the top. There we go. This compost is quite dry, I must admit, but it won't be an issue because I'll just give it a spray in a moment. Then you just lightly tamp them down, and uh, this module tray is from Buster Seed, um, so uh, you can check them out on um, Instagram and on their website. Um, I have done a video, uh, an unboxing video of this uh, this module tray as well, so you can uh, check that out as well. It should be out before this video comes out. There we go. Just cover them all over, making sure that we get a decent amount of coverage. Put them up the camera then. So we don't need too much compost on top of these tomato seeds, but they need to be about half a centimetre deep. So we can give them a quick tamp down with our fingers. We don't want to push them down too far. And then once that's done, go in. Like so, and then I'll just take a sprayer, just a basic normal sprayer with some cold water in it, and give them a good little spritz with the water just to rehydrate that compost a touch as well. It's 
seed there on the surface and just give that a make sure that's pushed down and there we go that is me doing some tomato seeds and also what we can do is we can take some of the water out of here and put it into the reservoir here and that will water them from underneath as well so that compost will take up some of the water so yeah that's compost that, that's not compost sorry that is me doing my uh, tomato seeds thank you for joining me and i shall see you all in the next video bye bye